So uh, today is uh, 21st uh, January uh, 2023. So I'm sitting in my 447 This is uh, manual cook. So I'm going out now for. Um, I'm taking the car for repair. Now, rewind back uh, weeks ago, that was uh, last month. I went for the for the trip a journey with this vehicle. So and um, like I said on my way back, um, the suspension had a lot of issues in the journey. Um, you know, it failed. I I, I can't say for sure, but I can. Um, I was hearing noises at some points. Started hearing. Um, in fact, the worst, the worst part of the noise uh, was coming from the front end, uh, left side, that's this side I'm sitting. So something on that particular wheel, you know, I don't know what it is. Suspend the shock absorber, the uh, Power joint, you know, I can hear the noise sometimes when I press the brake or stuff like that. Then the rear is likely the shock observers are failed. Based on the way, um, not necessarily bouncing, but I could tell um, something is wrong, most likely with the shock absorber. So I may end up changing boots, which I changed sometime last year. Okay, uh, anyway, I'm going to, whatever it is, I'll dismantle every part of the um, suspension, the, the front end, everything is going to come out, uh, inspect, uh, look at what needs to be replaced and then uh, deal with it. Even if there's any that will be changing, I'm going to deal with the most sensitive ones, um, the ones that uh, can pose a uh, very big um, danger to the vehicle. You know, because you know for 407, uh, if your suspension is very bad, uh, depending on the component that failed, you can actually, the, the tire can pull off. The lower, no, the power joint can separate, especially the lower arms. Uh, the shock absorber mount can also, the shock absorber can separate from the mount and pull off from the, what's it called, from the bonnet. So this is not a car you you manage the suspension. So let it be a warning for those who intend to get a 407 in future or planning to get one. Or you have one already. Once you start hearing noise or so 407 suspensions, don't take it for granted. Have it checked to know what the issue is. Of course I have my guesses. I have this as I'm suspecting it could be the cause based on the symptoms, but uh, you don't do that on 407. Even what I, even when you have, oh, I, I expect it to be this. Still, you pull every other thing out, confirm that those ones are okay. Before, uh, because you might end up, it might not be what you are suspecting, or it could be, but I uh, have other uh, components as well. Um, but not just uh, what the company, the particular one you are suspecting could be the cause of the source of the noise or the way the car is bouncing or making noise, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so I'll call you guys about why the work is going on. Um, now, some other, what other thing that uh, had issue on the journey? The AC, I think I mentioned that. Uh, the guy in Enugu that uh, didn't know what he was doing. Collected money, said he, uh, it was low gas. Uh, according to him, who knows whether he added gas or not. Um, the issue became worse <laughs> a few minutes after I drove out from the, the workshops. So, took it to another, when I came, got the picture, I took it to one of my AC technicians. He said the gas pressure was enough. Uh, yeah, he suspects um, it's an electrical issue. You know, that was making the compressor to, to come on. Sometimes to go off and stays off for a long time. So, so I was like, 
how far can you scan the car <laughs> ever since I got back? Even while I was in the journey, all those were. So when I plug in my PP2000, when straight to the engine ECU, you know, engine ECU, you know, they control the compressor. They work with the AC system. The first thing I saw, or well, the fault I saw there was uh, uh, error code was P0532. That's an AC pressure signal issue. So, you know, that was referring to the that AC pressure sensor. The one that is uh, mounted on the condenser. So, which, I mean, it could be a lot of things. So, in other words, that technician, uh, it could, uh, could, yeah, it could be right, but also could not be completely right. You know, um, it could be a lot of things. It could be low pressure gas, so the sensor was no longer picking. It could be um, as a wiring connection to the sensor. Or it could be the sensor is bad. Or it could also be that the condenser is partially blocked, so the sensor is now is because of the circulation of the the gas on the condenser is no longer good enough, so it doesn't say you know the it's not reporting an issue. Um, or it could be just the sensor that is bad, you know. Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of still suspecting could it be the the pressure is low that the gas level even though the shake is good enough or is it that the gas is bad and because it's it's still showing it not necessarily showing it's giving me this symptom when the gas pressure is low on pressure vehicles you know it'll be whistling from the AC vent inside the vehicle that's how it does when the AC is working you know it, it's even getting louder so which should be an indication that truly there's a low pressure gas in the system. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, what I'm going to do is while the work is going on with the suspension, I'll make a time. I'll first check the wiring connection starting from the BSM uh, chamber all the way to the engine cooling system farm uh, control uh, AC relay or the relay control box. Then from there, to the condenser, right to the AC pressure sensor. Um, so everything is okay. What I might do is um, uh, I might search for another sensor. No, that sensor, I didn't get new. I don't think new new one is available here. Uh, no, I've searched for it before. I could only get used one. So I don't know, and I don't like going to that side. It can be very risky. I end up damaging the condenser in the process of trying to replace it. So, uh, before I make that attempt, I might drain, you know, remove the old gas, put a new gas. If it continues, then I'll replace the sensor. That's if I confirm that the wiring connections are intact. Um, or have the condenser removed, checked if it's blocked or not. If it's not blocked, then we replace the sensor. You know. Uh, but I think it's suggesting the issue. Uh, it's not the, con the compressor or whatever. I mean, let's try to see. I mean, right now I'm hearing the whistling sound, you know, which is a symptom of low uh, AC pressure gas in the system. The compressor has come up, it's working now. But it's just a question of time. I might leave it on after like five minutes and that'll be the end. It will no longer cool. And it may not cool again. The compressor may not come up again for the next, um, the whole of the day. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so, um, now the suspension has been, the front suspension end has been dismantled. As you can see, uh, yeah, so they are all out. So let me start from here, from the right side. Um, it's remaining this anyway, the lower arm. So we still need to remove it, but um, it still appears okay anyway, but we'll still check. So, um, 
so far then these ones are okay uh the bushings on them uh these ones kind of weak so that you can see the form inside so i like it changing them uh the ball joint the lower one the upper one is okay but the lower one it looks okay anyway uh but we'll see check yeah, we we'll check for the shop. I bought that uh, another one. So that, uh, by the time it comes, we we'll check it to if it's bad. Then. So likewise, uh, this end, this machine is uh, okay. Um, the lower arms as well uh, haven't been removed. The uh, seat chair, but it looks okay from here. Um, uh, the upper part joint here, yeah, this one is okay. This is the left one. This pushing here, yeah, okay. Um, the lower, this, um, I think I'll just change this. It looks okay, but uh, probably might end up changing it. The lower ball joint, but well, so far, it's okay. I, I will just get rid of it, not for the Um it's the one that is more pronounced is this. You can see. These are the two uh, front shock as well. Um you can see this one pushed it in, it hasn't even come out. This is close to like 30 minutes now or okay, let's just say 10 minutes. Still inside. So both are dead. So going to the them. Um so, so far then, this one too um, appears uh, broken inside. So I've ordered another one. I'll look at all that tomorrow. Um, if eventually we need investment. Uh, I've ordered another one. Anyway. So, so the, for now, what we've seen here, the two functions. Um, these are the, the ones that have now been confirmed then. So these other ones too might end up changing them. I've ordered them and this one too. I don't like the way it's, it's, the way it's behaving on the hand. It's not that smooth. Um, I, I like to change it as well. I'm changing it. Okay, now this um the stabilizer links uh here yeah, okay yeah those ones are okay the two of them so i'm going to change this more like three components that are in the front uh for the real ones um we are going to uh, remove and then check but uh i could tell the shock of our sound so gone because i peeped inside under before now, after the journey, I noticed the oil stain on the shock absorbers on the rear one, so they bleed. So this time I'll be putting new shock absorbers. Um, see how it goes. I will remove them anyway, so see how bad they are. If really they are that bad, I have said I'll likely get rid of them. So what's remaining to remove now are the lower arms which on the front, just to be sure that they are all good. Alright, this is our So the new shock of the ones have arrived. Um ah, one I wanna say. So um this is for the male ones um the plan is auto boot um the part number the auto boot part number is uh three seven four one zero four um so this one is still in the pack. Mm, then this is the second one, the one that we moved here. So this is the old. So this is what, what it looks like. You can see the engraved. The number is also engraved here. The number. It says June, produced in June 2022. 20, then um 
So this is the front one, two of them, the two packs. Um, this is the old one, of course. Um, so this one is up already. So, um, I see the part number there. October 374103. So that's the part number for the phone one. October. So see it here as well. Um, so what was it for this? August, uh, so August 2018. Although maybe this is not the production year. Maybe I'm. That's a long uh, distance. Okay, 2018 actually. 2018, you can see the month the person bought it. 7th of May 2019. So it's been long. Okay. Uh, long. So, this is a 2018. The front one, 2018. The rear one, uh, 20. <laughs> Um, then the other components here as well. Other, this is the <laughs> lower ball joint. The front of them, lower front ball joint. The front ones are okay. Um, there might still be a third, but I'd probably be able to take it. Even the one point you understand. So, um, something else I'm uh, waiting for. So, let's start with what we have. So, I will get... So the bushings on that shock uh, uh, absorber assembly front one has come, uh, but um, I work with my team, make a lot of mechanics here, and um, and um, what you said makes sense. Even though they brought four, but it's telling me my own is still. Even though these are new one, but to rather I leave it. Uh, it's not. Uh, that's something I should be worried about. Um, the quality of this one here is better than what uh, the new one before. And this one will not cause any noise or give such symptoms I was experiencing. So I'm going to leave them here. Yeah, those are the ones I'm talking about. So uh, I will be returning them when we are changing them. But for those who don't know, yeah, they are available new ones. And, uh, of course, these are not fully in, so probably if I'm going to change, I may look for one that is much better than this. Um, so these are the four of them. So, yeah, um, so that is it for this one. Uh, what now? Okay, now the real shock has gone, so they'll be swapping. You can see, um, these are the new ones now, for the real ones. So uh, what I did was I swap back the, the spring. So the spring here is the stock uh, 407 VC scoop. Remember I said VC scoop, not um, VC salon 407 or station wagon. So I returned the spring. Of course, this uh, shock absorbers are uh, uh, the non-variable. They are not the variable ones. So since um, these ones are basically almost impossible to get a new one and I don't even want to attempt to use one because I know I've replaced uh, for the saloon I've replaced it a lot for most users for some VC saloon and the station wagon users and uh, most times um, they don't work um, you keep popping up all those errors um, suspension, shock absorber issues so I decided not to bother to even in my own uh, uh, case so when I change the area I put um, um, a fast cylinder one that's the non variable one um, which stopped but uh, because it was not valuable this one so eventually they came up um, so what I, all I did was um, have the um, people I work with swap the spring on the new one with this uh, the, the mount put it and then that was it so this is the old one so this is for the front one, the old one there, the other side. So, oh, by the way, I've removed the, I've looked at the lower ball joint. I uh, removed somewhere here, from here. So the one on the right side, no, left side, kind of was making one kind of sound, which I didn't like. So I decided to change it. So I've removed it. 
I don't know, I'm not using it because um, I tried here while turning the bearing inside. It's kind of making one kind of sound. So, so I'm fitting you this one here. These other ones are still okay. So, um, I'm waiting for one more component, uh, some special component. Once it comes, uh, I'll update. So, um, uh, since uh, this is um, uh, the f this is the front new one, shock observer that I'm, put, I'm putting. So, but this is not the valuable one. This is the non-valuable one. That's the one for the four cylinder. So, um, because of that, I can't use this uh, shock observer mount. This is for the this is uh, the valuable shock observer. It can't work because of here. It's different so i have to order now new one for this so i can match this um so this is the two of them for the two so uh this is the first number i need for the brand um shop of the brand um, so it says uh, made in Turkey. Turkey. okay so um i'm going to still keep this in case in future i now find because like i said the reason why i'm putting the non-variable on this car is because of the rear shock absorber the rear shock absorber one for the cool in fact it's like impossible to find a new one uh even a used one might also be very very difficult for find but i don't even want to bother because most times they don't even, they, they they don't work as in they failed so just realize you wasted your money. So I said, let me just put the, the non-variable ones uh, pending. Who knows? Or maybe I'll just stick with them. So I'm going to see, keep this uh, variable uh, front uh, shock absorber mount uh, mount, and um, pending what we should find. So uh, the second one is somewhere. I'll let it uh, side the vehicle. Okay, so that is it. Um, so we're going to go and assemble everything using the the, the variable uh, VC scoop uh, spring to assemble it. So I'm not using the the four cylinder spring so that the car vehicle height remains the same. All right. Okay. Um, so these are the old uh, shock absorbers. You can see they are not even shooting up again because I press them in and um, <coughs> a lot of that coming up. So these are the front ones, they are all dead. Supposed to be out or shoot out on their own. Oh, no move, no move. Um, so this is the rear ones. Um, this one can still move a little. This one, uh, that's a lot I can put in that. Let's see. You can go in and um comes out slowly. Uh, not completely dead, but this dead, this other thing are dead. So um the tiles have all got back here, so we mounted everything back. Uh, Quite a number of things. Um, oh, I forgot. I don't know how to change this. These two. Um, the, on that um, college uh, shock absorber hanger here. I don't know what they are coming. But this is the top mount of it. Uh, the bracket for the shock absorber mount. So these bushings, actually I like they are all weak. Not completely, they are all weak. In fact, um, I just have to change it. So I consider the cost of changing the, the two bushings here, this and the down one. Uh, so the cost of changing each one will actually buy me um, a good used one, complete like this. 
So I wear my option. It will take me more time to start changing the so I have to take it where they will remove it, put new one. Kind of decided, you know what, well, let me just buy. So I decided to buy this stuff. So these are the old ones. So the new ones are funny. Uh, I see. Final touching. Then, um, come on. So, yeah, I've removed that uh, solenoid here. Or uh, the actuator. Not actually a solenoid, the actuator. So, I'm going to keep them uh, pending. Who knows, in future, I might um, be able to get a new rear shock absorber for the 407 cook. Then I can decide to uh, buy the new front one. Uh, because those new ones are available. Naturally, the new front shock absorber 407, they are available. Even the OEM. But the rear ones are not for the cook, at least here in Nigeria. So that was why I said not, not to even waste time. I don't need putting something, uh, buying, I just don't want to get to use one. Because even those in, in Europe and other countries, they also do complain that uh, when they are paying, uh, it's very hard to get a uh, replaceable one. So, um, Speaking of, so this is the, the, the variable that is the 47 V6 front shock absorber mounts. So I have to keep them. I have to keep them. I need the second one. See in the pack, they are still in good condition, no crack, no break. So I'm keeping them both. But um, because if I were to buy a new, if I decide to go back to the valuable shock absorbers. It means I will have to because if I'm buying new shock absorber, valuable valuable shock absorbers, it means uh, they will come with this mount. So I'll just put back this one uh, that I'm going to keep um, in my store. So it's going to be um, I don't know whether I'll ever use it again or not. Who knows? Never know what future holds. So, um, you see, at least for a very long time, I don't think I will ever um, have need for um, repair on the suspension, this car suspension. Um, even if I ever travel with this car, of course, it has to be a uh, road. I know the, condi the road condition is, uh, is fair, not the best, not that good, but at least not that the type I grew up. So for now it's going to be specifically a city use vehicle. So okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, so um the work has been concluded. Um before I continue I will say um yes I set that I set out to do uh, two work today, suspension repairs, and then to you know to diagnose, um, not necessarily diagnose the AC. Just go to the wiring connection to be sure everything to that AC pressure gas um, was okay. But uh, I didn't have time for that. The suspension really took my time. I really needed to be focused, supervising, you know, and the rest. So. So the work has concluded um, my way home now. Yes, of course, the car, all the noise, gone. So, yeah, so I think, uh, not I think, it's really, it was worth it. You know, I was expecting, I was going to spend, um, so that's uh, so why when I, I got back, uh, I think I drove the car like um, the next day, they packed the vehicle. That was it today so um now how much did it cost me i just uh, took a look at the, the overall uh, expenses everything i spent buying the bars you know and then of course um the team i work with need to give them something so 
yeah, this guy is uh, to say 127,000. 127,000. I, I hope I got everything on that list. I probably must have missed one because I was trying to think there was something else I spent money on uh, that it seems I was forgetting when I was writing uh, the list of what I spent. I didn't bother to list what I'm going to spend. <laughs> it was after spending that I started listing what I spent. Because what, what I say, whatever you are doing for yourself, suspension, forget about if you have any mental list, cancel it, squeeze it, throw it away, you know. So uh, it doesn't work like that for four seven. You know, that's why I tell people, don't joke. You know, whenever I'm telling you, understand that I don't tell you uh, based on theory. No, I tell you based on reality. You know, I it's not you know this. I do this for people. You know, before I own my own four seven, I do. I repair cars for people. So I know what it takes. So keep 407 suspension in good condition. Most especially, like when you rough use it, when you do use it for long journeys on Nigerian road that are very bad and the rest. So I know what it takes. So that's why I want people, if you are looking for a car for long journeys, 407 is not for you. Forget it. Once in a while, yeah, you can travel with it. But constant journey, on Nigerian road with all these bad bombs, this and that, portals here and there on higher speed. Wow, forget it. You know, it's you, you're gonna regret it. So in my case, I was okay, maybe it's a one out thing. It won't kill me if I do it. You know, I just wanted to enjoy the car. So um, I was willing to spend, I know after the journey I was going to spend to, to fix the suspension and wow, I mean <laughs> Oh, it's perfect now, you know, so, so, um, that's it, so, it could have cost more, uh, it could have cost more, you know, but I applied my logic and um, got it exactly how it would be better for me to get almost everything, I mean, it's quiet now. All those boom, turning the sea island, you be. I mean, you could barely. I, I can tell you how many 407 on Nigeria road you could drive without hearing horrible noises coming from the suspension. I can tell you how many I've driven that I didn't hear that noise. I mean, I mean, let's just say, I, I can't even tell. Maybe I must have driven more than uh, 60, 70 407. Yeah. Probably let's just say approximately 100 for ourselves or close to that. I can't, I don't have the figure, but I mean, I drive quite a number of them. You know, as a technician, you tend to drive while diagnosing, after diagnosis, to be sure the issues are sorted. Sometimes people give you a car, please use this vehicle if there's any issue, fix for me. Use it for days, weeks, pendants. You know, it's all about trust. And also, I driven by them, so I can tell you, I can count how many of them I drove that didn't give one annoying uh, suspension issue or the other. No matter how the owner felt, uh, the suspension was in good condition. So, I mean, um, this is quiet, quiet, quiet. You know, usually, even when I buy Tokumbo for seven for people, or uh, when I'm just driving, the Tokumbo 407 doing a car vehicle inspection for clients. Mm. Well, so, yeah, some of them, yeah, you don't hear anything. Just like very few. Yes, I'm saying there are very few. The rest, whether Tokumbo or not, you always have one or two noise you hear. You know, because uh, as much as uh, their roads are better than ours, they also do have. So, 407 suspension is good for. For fun, you know, it's very very sporty. Have some fun, especially if you have some power, you can able to master, you know, utilize. You know, you can enjoy that power as you are doing the car like this. Uh, you can be able to handle whatever you are doing behind the wheel, or you are towing at the car to behind the wheel. You know, the suspension is very perfect for that. Oh, uh, trees. I'm not saying all oh, this is better than the other four cylinders. 
uh, but the first thing that I've learned are so many things for that. Unless you go and tamper your suspension, making it go up higher, then uh, you probably will not enjoy that. Okay, so um, that is it. So, um, so our advice, our thing our advice, I mean, you can could tell the difference. You could tell the difference. Um, if you have, uh, suggest, try and avoid buying used uh, shock absorbers for Pojo 407 as much as you can. Yes, you could get uh, good ones used if you are lucky. Yes, if you are lucky. Yours might be good. You know. Remember, I tried used at the rear a lot, but a few months ago, they were all gone. Sometime last year. They didn't even last. I'm not saying the new one I put will last longer, but I'm saying at least, uh, you know that for a while, I'm going to have some peace of mind rather than putting one. You know what I realized? Most of these Tokumbo shock absorbers you see in Nigeria markets, uh, in the name of Tokumbo, sometimes uh, once they've stayed too long, what they usually do, or when people have returned them because they didn't work or were weak, they will go and uh, they realize that they actually have failed because they are leaking oil, they will go and wash them. Uh, inflate them, do that thing they call pumping or whatever, it makes them look as if they are still good. And uh, only for you to realize when you buy it, it's just a question of a few days, probably the worse than the one you removed. Um, another thing is, the uh, reason why I say that is when you are buying new one, new shock absorber, you know they don't come with the springs attached, at least for the non 407 V6 uh, shock absorbers. Uh, which are permanently uh, attached, the springs are attached on them permanently. But for every other one, even the front, yeah, this, they don't come with the shock absorber springs. So what that means is, you tend to see what you're buying. You can actually tell how good the shock absorber is, at least at that time. The used ones that, uh, the models that the shock of the, uh, the springs are attached on them, you can't tell. The only way for you to tell is that you have to now go and pay someone to remove the spring or your mechanic or if you have the tools to remove the spring for you to check if they are good. The shock as well itself, not with the spring. The spring. Check if they are good, if they are not good, probably you have to pay the person again or whatever to mount it back and you reject it. You can't other what you do the same thing. You have to keep doing it until you see just because they are spring on it or it looks clean enough or neat enough doesn't mean it's good and working. So honestly, just try and uh, get a new one. You only have to get used if you know, um, okay, that um, actually the, your model is not available on new one. So the only alternative, the only option, the only choice, uh, the, you don't even have an option. You just have to buy a used one, maybe it's available. So get a new one. Of course, there are different qualities in the market. It's up to use. Me, I'm not, I've never used this this brand I put. So this is my first trial. I've, I've never also discussed with anyone that I've used it before. So I'm more, I'm more like, uh, uh, I'm not saying I'm the first user, but um, this is my own personal experience. So however it works or lasts will be my own personal experience or first experience, not even uh, hearing from anybody on that. Of course, it wasn't only shock absorber, it changed so many other budgets. There's so, C407 front suspension. <laughs> Confidence of compare. I mean, when I removed it, it wasn't quite a number of the bushes were still okay. Even the lower arms, I didn't even have to replace anything. I removed them, they were still intact. So the bushes there. Yet, see what I spent. You know. It's quite a number of that uh, the assembly, that unit where the shock absorber is, all those uh, bushing. How many of them? Could count up to 15 bushes on one. <laughs> yeah, come on. Five, seven, six, seven, seven. Uh, so, yeah, I, there were quite a number of them, but eventually the ones I spent, if, uh, yeah, still amounted to that amount. So, yes, I enjoyed it, and uh, my twist, I know. Um, of course, I'm not going to ever give this card to anybody to try. I don't think I will ever. Unless it's somebody I know. I don't even plan to, honestly. Because, uh, like I said, people people abuse um, uh, 
other, other, uh, you know, they don't care, not just, yeah, they abuse as well. You know, um, people's, uh, uh, you call it gesture or charity. Yes, you know, oh, please give me, I want to drive this car, I want to enjoy, only for him to start running like a madman on off road with the vehicle. You know, trashing your car that you've been driving like, um, like a grandmother on this thing as a crawling just so that the, the car doesn't wreck. Only for the person to start wrecking it because um, it would be a wicked man to say, uh, no, don't give me back my car. Or, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. So I, I will even, it's better I'll be a wicked man. You know, than, um, than wreck my distance. Okay. The cars I can probably be that. But something like this that the suspension of course for you. Like I said, it has to be somebody I know that uh, not only respect someone else's property or uh, try to keep them in good con you know, not to wreck them, but also someone that, for example, you have to know how to drive stick. You ha I have to know that you know, not because you say you know how to, that I know you know how to drive stick very well. So I won't end up burning even the clutch kit that I know is not even easily available. Uh, you end up damaging it for me, so I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay, so um, let me pack well. Okay, so that is it for the day. Um, so I hope um, this um, people have learned from this. I want to take people, some people too. What it takes. That's why whenever I say four seven suspension to repair, you have to dismantle everything. You saw how I did it. Of course, I didn't show everything. Otherwise, um, it could be it would be a distraction while we are working, supervising stuff. We are busy pulling the camera. I mean, so um, I mean, I had to. Be, yeah, the first time I felt I it was even around three p.m. I remember I'm not eat, taking my breakfast. That's when I had to go and eat to know how. Uh, not just being busy. I just had to. Every pin, everything that was going on, I was there looking, supervising, making sorting, making decisions. This has to go. This has to stay. This, okay, what do you think about this? Okay, uh, it makes sense. Your opinion makes sense. This and that. But I stick with mine. You know. Ah, eventually it was. Um, okay, so um, I'm saying this because if you ever uh, consider giving me your four seven four. Uh, for me to repair your suspension and I agree to do it. I'm not going to do it haphazardly. So don't uh, come to say, oh, I, I have only this, uh, just use whatever little amount I have to. No. I have to dismantle it. And if whatever it will, it has everything that I see that is wrong has to go. So if you know you're not ready, it takes sometimes, it can cost so much. Depending on how you use the car, how you can leave those faults to accumulate. So if you know you're not, uh, so just you touch someone else. I don't joke with 407 suspension because I know. Uh, remember 407 uh, uh, lower arm, uh, no blow arm, ball joint. It can pull. It pulls on the road. People probably don't know. 407 lower arm pulls off. That's just like uh, this other Japanese brand. Yeah, it does that. Once it's weak and you ignore it, it will pull. Your tire, you'll be driving on the road, all of a sudden the tire will pull out. You know, boom. Then the shock absorber, the shock absorber mount can also uh, separate. The shock absorber can separate, the, the shaft can separate from the mount and pull. Your high speed, it pulls through your, uh, your bonnet, push your bonnet up. Open up. It can be very, very dangerous. So I want people to know how, why you shouldn't joke with us. That's why I don't joke with you when people want me to fix theirs or when I'm fixing mine. It's very, very sensitive, complex. However, uh, there's a reason why they did it that way. You know, when you drive one that is in good condition, you know why it's that complex, which you will actually enjoy. It's just that you don't want, if you don't want to be spending so much, then you will have to respect yourself, you know, how you drive the car. What you use it for, you know, can do like I did last month. Say, okay, you know what? Let me just do it. I know it's going to work it uh, some extent, uh, but I just have to take it for this journey. I come back and uh, hope. 
So if you're looking for a car, you'll be using Constantine or, or Johnny or Nigeria or, or Total Nigeria. Forget full service, not for it. You look for one that will maybe the road uh, journey will be doing is all the roads are very smooth. The entire road to your des the, the destination will be doing awful, are very smooth. Yeah, it will serve you. Can be any part of the country. You can do it. But as long as the road conditions are much better, not much less potholes, not calling, less calling this and that. Yeah, you enjoy it. If there's more, forget it. Go for the other ones. Okay, so that is it for this video. All right.